Hey there, Yamina Hall from YaminaHall.com and in today's video, I wanna share with you three tips on how you can become the attractive character inside of your MLM business for 2020. So my name is Yamina Hall and I help network women network marketers build their business online using social media strategies as well as showing you how to build your business without chasing your friends and family. So I want to share with you three tips today on how you can become the attractive character inside of your network marketing company and stand out from everybody else. Okay, guys. So before I get into those three tips, I need you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you like and comment on this video. And also guys, just want to do a quick disclaimer. No, no, that you don't have to be like a beautiful, gorgeous person. Okay. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about how you and your image and your role can attract your potential client and customer as well as business builders for you. Okay. So you can build your following to actually make more sales and sign up more uh, ideal business reps to partner with you inside of your network marketing business. So that's what I'm talking about. Okay. When I say becoming the attractive character. So tip number one for becoming the attractive character inside of your business for 2020 guys is that you must have a backstory. And what is a backstory? A backstory is basically letting people know where you came from, right? where you've been, what you've been doing, and this kind of just helps you become more relatable and people will actually follow you from where you are now, okay? So let me just give you an example. So say you are in uh, the weight loss, right? Say your product is weight loss, you're selling weight loss. So obviously your backstory should be... Um, weight loss related, right? Or related to uh, weight loss, okay? Your backstory should be related to weight loss, all right? It's same thing if you're in a, um, I don't know, makeup company or whatever your company is or whatever it is that you're selling, you need to be able to have a backstory that is um, relatable to whatever product or service that you are selling, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip number two is that facts tell, stories sell, okay? And I don't mean talking about all the little ingredients that's in your product. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about facts tell, stories sell. So I'm telling you to tell stories about yourself or maybe a friend of yours or somebody you know, right? Tell a story about something that happened in your life or maybe something that happened in your friend's life, your relative's lives. Tell a story that people will remember you by, okay? People remember stories. We love movies, right? Well, I do. I don't know about you, but I love movies. I love movies with a good storyline and an attractive character and you know, a good story always helps me remember a movie. Same thing, guys. Exact same thing. Your stories have to have people to remember you by, okay? So tell stories that something that happened to you or a friend, something that happened um, related to your uh, product or service, right? You have to still keep it relatable. Can't be all over the place. So make sure you tell a story about something that happened in your life related to the product or service that you have so people can remember you because people love to hear stories, especially good juicy stories, right? So people want to hear the story. So make sure you tell a story, all right? And um, tip number three is to share your flaws. Yep, share your flaws. Share your mistakes. Share your failures just share it because people want to hear that it also again makes you more relatable we all have flaws you don't want to come across like you're this perfect person because people can't relate to that okay people can't relate to that and if you do try to come across 
you know, perfect, then you're going to come across like phony and trying to sell people and it's just not going to work. So share your flaws. I know you don't hear people saying this, but I'm telling you, this works. People want to know that you are a real relatable person. People want authenticity. People, people don't want to see perfect anymore. Those days are over. People want to know that you're real and people want to know that you're just like them. So those are my three, um, tips for you guys to become the attractive character inside of your MLM for 2020. So if you got any value from these tips today, make sure that you uh, leave me a comment here because I would love to know um, if you got value from this video. Um, also, make sure that you click that bell, that subscribe button so you are notified every time I do upload a video. And one more thing, guys, I have a free training for you on attraction marketing. It is an attraction, it is an attraction marketing boot camp. Okay, it's a 10 part video series that you will get inside of your um, inbox. So make sure that you do put the correct email when you do go ahead and get those uh, free 10 videos. It is a free attraction marketing boot camp that I think you're going to love and get more value from that. So I am going to leave a um, link in the description of this video so you can actually get your hands on that. All right. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching.